Welcome back to the Soul Channel. This is an after dinner walk. Um, I felt a little guilty. Um, probably had a couple of spoonfuls more food than I should have. So we're back on the road, Jack. Many times it takes a day to do it. But anyway, this episode is going to be about why I chose not to get weight loss surgery. Many people have done it. Uh, thousands of people have gotten it. Um, if you're not sure what I'm talking about, I'm talking about a doctor surgically uh, removing part of your stomach or stapling your stomach in half so that you can only eat so much food at a time. Um, there's a number of reasons why I didn't do this. For one, I wanted to really be in shape. I just didn't want to look a certain way in my clothes or at the beach. I actually want to be in shape. I actually want to be able to run, be able to go do certain sports, and I just want to be in shape, all right? I want to be able to run up several flights of stairs without being completely gassed and out of breath. The other thing is this. I want to be able to enjoy my food. I've known a few people that have had this weight loss surgery, whether they it's the, it's the belt, the staple, or they go on and remove half your stomach, uh, they no longer can really enjoy food. Uh, before you know it, you're sitting down at the dinner table at the restaurant with them. After five minutes, they have to sit back and go, oh, I'm full. So meanwhile, you're sitting there left to finish your food. And it's just, it throws everything off as far as the eating is concerned. Socially, at home, um, have I used uh, weight loss surgery uh, practitioners for uh, you know a weight? Uh, how can I say uh, uh, a portion guide? Yes, you can learn a lot from uh, portion control from people that have had weight loss surgery. Okay, that's great. Uh, the third thing is this: um, one surgery won't do the trick especially if you're really obese or really overweight. Uh, you're going to have to have surgery on your arms and your back to take some of that flabby skin off. You might even have to have surgery on your legs to, to remove some of that flabby skin. Okay, be, why you have all that flabby skin? Because you lost the weight so fast and so quickly your body didn't have time to adjust and your skin didn't bounce back like a rubber band and since you wasn't working out which is the case with most of these people that get this weight loss surgery they really don't work out that's the reason why they got it in the first place uh they were tired of being fat and obese and they wanted the quickest route to being slimmer that they could find also a lot of doctors recommend this when you're extremely obese and they see you're not making the adjustments you're not changing your diet you're not exercising enough, and they're trying to save your life. They're trying to stop you from having a heart attack or a stroke because you're obese by 100 pounds, 150 pounds, 200 pounds, and more. So that's the reason why I didn't get weight loss surgery and why I really won't consider it in the future. Um, I just decided to grind, man, because I really want to be in shape for one and I want to look in the mirror and feel proud that I did that. Not a surgeon. Oh, there's another reason. I don't believe in cutting open a human body unless it's absolutely necessary. I just don't. I'm not running to a surgeon for nothing unless it's a life-saving procedure. Uh, that's the only way that you're going to see me go under the knife. Uh, the only other surgery I'll get is, is dental surgery. Uh, uh, oral surgery that's about it other than that no thank you um, until they advance sound treatment techniques which right now the, the technology starting to be uncovered where they can heal cancer and heal all type of ailments in your body by use of sound where it's non-invasive and they don't have to cut you open no thank you uh, women seem to be more prone to this type of surgery than men because they're image driven 
and they'll do just about any damn thing to attain a certain image. No matter if they got to go under the knife once, twice, three times, four times to get their so-called desired result. But if you speak to a lot of these people after the weight loss surgery, they gain the weight back. They have to go back in, tighten up their stomach again or re repeat the procedure. So you have to ask yourself if that's the route that you want to take in your journey. Do you want to be cut open with a scalpel multiple times, not just once? Or do you just want to get out here and grind, go to the gym and grind, grind at home, uh, you know, wherever. Just get it done naturally. So that's my video for today or for this evening. Rather, I'm going to continue my walk. Um, to all those considering weight loss surgery, really consider if you want to go under the knife or if you just should man up or woman up and get it done uh, the hard way, which is putting in that work. This has been the Soul Channel, you guys. Have a wonderful evening. Stay blessed on your journey. Peace.